Hey, I wonder if any of you guys know, or any of you gals out there know what type of fruit this is right here. All right, did you figure out what it is? I hope you left a comment. Just kind of wondering how many people will know what this is. And I'm standing here inside of actually a banana field. So there's a banana circle all around, and we'll catch that from the outside later. But I'm actually, the tree, the cashew tree, that's what this is, a cashew tree is planted in the middle of a banana circle. And that, that you would think is kind of nutty, but it seems to work. The reason I say it's kind of nutty is because bananas like a lot of water, and cashew, on the other hand, likes to be dry. Actually does like to be dry. Now here in the Redlands, uh, we have a lot of uh, a lot of coral rock, cap rock, and clay. That's generally the types of soil that are out here. But um, apparently this guy is doing great out here at the Fruit and Spice Park. And when I get back with you guys in just a minute, I'm going to show you the overall look of the tree. It's very big. Uh, this tree is probably a good 25 feet up in the air, maybe even a little bit more. But cashew is an amazing tree. And this is where your cashew nut comes from. And if you'll notice here, you'll see this is some of the fruit I picked off the ground because you can't be picking up the fruit off of the tree. You can't pick the fruit from the tree at the park, but you can pick it up if it's on the ground. And this here is edible, okay? So I'm not going to eat it because it's been laying on the ground. There was ants all over it. It looked kind of nasty and it don't smell too good. So this is not a fresh one. But if I was able to reach up and grab, if I was permitted to grab a fresh one, I would definitely try it because I've never tried this before. If you know what this tastes like, go ahead and give us a little bit of description in your words. But basically, this, as I pull it out, you can see the nut actually hangs right outside of the apple, the fruit. It's got lots of water in here. You can see all that water coming out of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull this out here. And this will be a new cashew tree. If I just let this sit in a bowl of water overnight for about 24 hours and I plant it, in about two weeks this will germinate and when you have a very fast growing little seedling. Uh, this is what you would eat. People also make desserts out of this. They make juices out of it. Uh, they also chop it up and put it into salads. There's all kinds of things you can do. And again, share what you might know here in the comments. I'm going to go out and I'm just going to do a little bit of an overall look at the tree so you can see what it looks like and the fruit hanging from it. It's loaded with fruit. All right, so right behind me in this banana circle, you can see all around. If you notice on the inside, there's a really, really large, tall tree there. And that is a cashew tree. 